Alright, before we get into the actual sorting, we need to talk about time complexity. Time complexity measures how your algorithm scales when you give it more data. It's basically asking, okay, cool, your code works for 10 items, but what happens when I give you 10,000? O of 1, this is called constant time. Doesn't matter if you have 10 items or 10 million. It takes the same time. This is like checking if your backpack is empty. You just look. <laughs> That's it, S tier. Then you have O of N, linear time. You double the input, the time doubles. Perfectly reasonable. This is like reading through a list once, you know, like a normal person would. Solid A tier. O of N squared. This is called quadratic time. Double your input and your runtime quadruples. This is what happens when you compare every element with every other element. For small inputs, fine, whatever. For large inputs, your computer starts questioning its life choices. This is a C tier and pest. Now we get to the sweet spot for these sorting algorithms, okay? O of N log N. This is where smart algorithms live. It's faster than quadratic, but not as unrealistic as constant or linear for sorting. It's the, you know, nerdy tryhard school kid of time complexity. Easy A tier. So that's the framework. Now let's see how these actually play out with real sorting algorithms, because spoiler alert, some of these are going to be in that C tier.